Happy Wednesday, socials. This is your Triple S Daily brought to you by SavvySexySocial.com. My name is Amy Schmidauer, and I still love my Buckeyes. Word. Sorry for the missing Tuesday episode, socials. I was a little under the weather. You know what that's like. And you're certainly not ready to be on video when you're feeling like that, right? Anyway, I'm back. And if you're lucky, I might have a Friday episode to replace it. We'll see. But uh, I've gathered a few articles for today's episode, and I am going to share them with you now. So let's get started. Our savvy blog of the day comes from socialmediaexaminer.com and titled Top Marketing Tips for Updated Facebook Pages. I was really excited to see this article today. It's actually mostly video from the lovely Mari Smith. Mari is kind of a social media goddess. If you're not familiar with her, you need to check her out. But she does most of the social media examiner TV episodes. And in this episode, they talk about great marketing tips for your Facebook page. And I think it's very helpful because a lot of people are freaking out a little bit over the changes that have occurred with Facebook pages. Um, We talked about the photo strip last week, which can be something to your advantage. But there are a lot of other things that have moved or new features that you don't know about. You should really watch this video so that you can see what you can manipulate and benefit you in marketing for your business. So check out Marie Smith and check out Social Media Examiner. Our sexy blog of the day comes from mattcollier.com entitled Two WordPress Plugins to Help Convert New Visitors into Readers. I'm super excited about this blog post from Mac because I'm always trying to come up with ways for visitors to SavvySexySocial.com to become readers and come back and stay and subscribe to RSS, subscribe to newsletters, want to come back for more information. Uh, One way that I've done that is through a Twitter welcome video. If you've ever clicked over from my bio on Schmitastic, which is my personal Twitter handle or Savvy Sexy Social's Twitter handle, you click the link in the bio and it brings you to a special welcome page that nobody else sees with a video of me welcoming you from Twitter. So I'm always trying to come up with stuff like that. And Mac provides two WordPress plugins here that help go the extra mile in making people feel welcome on your site, make them want to come back. One of them is comment redirect, which I love. It's kind of the same idea as the video I was just telling you about, except for that when people leave a comment for the first time, it forwards them to a page that you create with whatever information you want, um, saying thank you so much for your first comment. Maybe you'll want to subscribe to RSS. Maybe you want to subscribe to my newsletter. Maybe you want to check out this related article. You can put whatever you want on the page but this plugin gives you that power. As soon as they leave the comment, they go to this page and you welcome them in any way that you want. The other example was WP Greet Box, which you actually saw on the screen grab that I showed you for Mac's blog. And I'll show it to you again, where it says, hey, you're new, you should subscribe to my RSS. You know, that is really cool. That's a nice little reminder up there. Like, yeah, actually, I do wanna subscribe to your RSS feed. That is something really great if you want people to subscribe but you need to remind them to do it hello there you go two great plugins check out this article our social blog of the day is actually a guest blog that was submitted by nikki creel for savvy sexy social it is entitled how to get followers on twitter don't you just love that title? Doesn't everybody want to know that? How how can I get some followers? I want some followers. Well, she has some really good tips here. Um, a lot of them you probably already know about, but I think people don't understand the importance of following back, and she talks about that in the article. If you want people to follow you, you need to give them a reason to care about you, and one way of showing that is that you care about them. So if you care about them, wouldn't you be following them too? Wouldn't you? The answer is yes. Yes, you would. So 
one great way to gain followers is to follow back because not only does that show that you care about them, but as you follow people, your network grows and your network grows and your network grows. And the more you're sharing great information, the more than that network is sharing your information, more people will find you, more people will follow you. So process that one and check out this article from Nikki Creel and thank you Nikki for submitting the guest blog. That's all for today's socials but before we go I would like to ask you a question, a question of the day if you will. My question is if you could only use one social media network forever what would it be and why? Leave your answer in the comments section and I will review the answers tomorrow. So I'll see you then.